You're in a meeting or in a class with all native speakers and somebody has just asked you a question and you need to talk off the cuff. Are your hands starting to perspire? Do you become self-conscious? Because you know if you were in your home country, you could do this without a second thought. Hi, my name is Michael Sheehan and I'm with Lighthouse Communications. And in today's video, three tips for impromptu speaking. Go and make mistakes. There are two kinds of people in this world. One kind, they make mistakes and then they want to ignore them. The second kind, which is you and me, we make mistakes and then we learn from them. So you gotta get out there and you gotta practice speaking off the top of your head. How to do this? Ask a classmate or a colleague out to lunch. If you're in a work meeting, speak up early. If you're in a classroom, raise your hand and ask a question within the first 10 minutes of class. You gotta get out of your comfort zone and talk to new people. Join a sports team, take a class at the community college, or do some volunteer work. Anything that captures your attention and you know that the people there will not be speaking your native language. Tip number two, gauge facial expressions. When you're talking off the top of your head with your colleagues or coworkers, most likely you're lost in thought. You're looking up at the ceiling or down at the floor and you're not gathering some very important data. Their facial expressions. If you see the majority of your audience squinting their eyes or knitting their eyebrows, that means that your point might not have been clear. Stop and clarify. Tip number three, pause and ask for questions. If you're talking extemporaneously, maybe you are making mistakes. Maybe you are not gauging your audience's facial expressions. But also, you might be rambling and you don't even know it. Don't do this. Pause and ask for questions. That way, if your audience is confused, they can take responsibility into their own hands and seek clarification by asking you questions. There you've got it, the three tips for impromptu speaking. One, go and make mistakes. Two, gauge facial expressions. And three, pause and ask for questions. Thanks for watching this video about impromptu speaking. So, what do you think? Do you have a tip that you have found to be helpful? Share it with us in the comments section below. I look forward to reading your comments. Please share this video with colleagues and classmates by clicking right over there. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. The more views, the more likes we get, the more videos we'll create for you.